Welcome to the Sonicade Central 3. Down the left hand side, we can see the beds and patients that have been allocated. This bed bar is always visible showing alerts, patient and bed information. This page is the home page and can be selected by clicking the home icon. We are being prompted to add the patient details to beds 2, 3 and 4. Simply click on bed 2 to add the patient to bed. Enter the patient details in the relevant box. If the patient has been on the system before or the system has the operational HL7 interface, the details will be found after typing in partial details. Select the required patient if they are listed. If the patient is not found after entering in the details, click the Create New button to add the patient to the database. If the chalkboard option has been purchased, the chalkboard data can be entered at this point. Now the trace for Emma is being saved along with her details. The trace was being stored from the moment the CTG was switched on, so we don't need to rush to put the details into the system. So long as the details are entered before the CTG is switched off, they will automatically be allocated to her. While she's being booked into the bed, any trace, however, long or short, will be automatically be displayed and archived. The CTG trace shows a twins trace clearly and will also display triplets. Maternal information including SPO2, NIVP from any suitable connected CTG. Traces are displayed in black for FHR1 blue for FHR2 and lilac for FHR3. Where these traces overlap, it is highlighted in red to make instances where the same fetus is being monitored twice easy to spot. A live trace can be displayed at any time by simply clicking on the bed from the left hand side. By clicking on the current pregnancy, we can see any pregnancy details the workflow allows us to enter the gestational age, enter the time the labour starts, and if the partogram option is purchased, the partogram can also be started. After delivery, the birth details can be entered and the pregnancy record closed to complete the workflow. The pregnancy notes will show the list of CTG traces, annotations and analysis sessions. Also, general notes can be added to the list. Back to the CTG trace. By clicking on the green triangle, the doors Redmond analysis can be started. First, by entering the gestational age, if it has not been entered before. The gestational age can also be calculated by EDD or LMP. The gestational age automatically updates over time, so only needs to be entered once per pregnancy. Select one mark to start the analysis at a particular point on a trace, or two marks to analyse a section of a trace greater than 10 minutes long, and confirm the mother is not in active labour. Here we are analysing an antepartum trace from the cursor position for a maximum of 60 minutes. After 60 minutes, the analysis will automatically stop. The user can stop the analysis by simply switching off the CTG or by clicking the red stop button, which is displayed once the analysis has been started. Here we can see the criteria has been met, as the latest results are colour-coded green. On this example, yellow would be for not met after 60 minutes. By clicking on the CTG tab, we are back to the trace. By selecting the bell symbol, we can set the high, low and loss of contact alerts. We can see when the alert levels were changed to what value. This can also be seen in the patient notes if this information has been enabled for the user. To annotate the trace, click on the note icon and move the cursor to the required position. Use the drop down list or type free text in the event box. Further information can be typed into the details box. To print out the trace, click the printer icon. Select the print all for the entire trace, or print selection for a smaller part of the trace. Here we will print a selection of the trace. Any printer connected to the system can be used. 
Move the Print Selection tool to highlight the section of the trays that is to be printed and select the printer when prompted. To start the partogram, from the Current Pregnancy tab, click on Set of Labour and set the time of the labour. Click Start Partogram. Enter the time you wish to start the partogram. If this is not highlighted, enter the gestational age above. The partogram can be started. The partogram can be updated as required. Only a small sample of the data fields are shown here and will typically include contraction strength and frequency. Maternal measurements similar to the traditional partogram. To enter the partogram data, use the drop-down lists or free-form text fields when the cursor is at the correct point. If a large number of beds is shown on the left-hand bed frame, these can be compacted by clicking on the group to temporarily hide the beds. If any alert is activated, then the bed is highlighted in yellow and an audible warning can be heard. Alternatively, click on the user settings and select the bed group you wish to see. Alarms are only heard from this group of beds. New bed group profiles can be created for larger systems, where users do not want to see or hear alerts from other areas. An overview of all active beds with CTG traces running can be displayed by selecting the multi-bed view and selecting traces from all wards or anyone or more of interest. This view changes dynamically, scaling automatically to show active CTG traces selected by the bed group profile. If a CTG is switched off, the trace will disappear from the selection above, or if a CTG is switched on, it will be added to the selection automatically. Here we have used a bed group profile to show only the delivery suite and the active beds for that area only. The chalkboard option gives an overview of who is looking after each pregnancy, the clinicians responsible and the current status of each pregnancy. Data can be entered or updated by simply clicking on the rows on the chalkboard and entering the data. Patients can be discharged from the system as required or transferred to another bed or ward that is unoccupied by selecting the patient and then the patient menu. The system can be configured to automatically discharge a patient at a set time after the CTG is switched off, simplifying use in a busy ward. Stored records can be opened by clicking on the folder button at the bottom of the screen. Once the patient has been located by ID number or name and selected, the record can be opened. A list of traces can be displayed. Traces can be opened by clicking on the respective CTG and printed or viewed as required. The security and audit option allows us to record the actions of any user and create access levels, determining the functions that users can carry out. For example, an overview screen may be used to view all traces, but this account can be prevented from making any changes to patient records. In the Administrator tab, we see the currently logged on users. This page also allows us to create or maintain access levels allocated to a user or workstation. New users can be created and supports Windows Single Sign-On, so no passwords are needed to be remembered once the user has logged on to Windows. Access levels and confidentiality levels can be allocated. Mother's names can also be anonymized or just patients selected, and this setting allocated to a user or workstation. This can be important to maintain confidentiality if the system is viewed in a public area. Here we are showing the patient's initials. This has been a brief overview of Sonicade Central, showing some of the commonly used functions and software options making it suited to a multi-user, multi-ward environment with a range of flexible and valuable software options, with all user actions auditable and many options configurable.